And look at all of those sparks, Tim. Mm -hmm. Look at all right. of those. And now you have to wonder about the, the CHP officers who are following behind. Yeah, they're, they're probably dodging pieces and parts coming off at a yep. mound as Sky Fox swings around to the right side. You're seeing now that that's just metal being ground on the axe, on the uh, concrete, being pushed by that truck, and it's just going to work its way up and burn the side of the, motor, uh, side of the vehicle and then start setting off now. He's going to have to get away from the uh, sound wall here, but it looks like we're uh, off the freeway maybe here at Haven. And so we'll see what happens once he gets over here. But he's up on the side wall, side of the freeway, and now you're gonna have and to now, worry about. And uh, now you think about the trees. Okay, now we've stopped. Yeah. We've stopped, and now those flames could very well uh, light up the hillside. And now you see the yep. the suspect running, making a run for it up the hill. Tim, doing his yep. darndest to get to the top. He's making good ground, considering. But you know that those CHP officers, they are there too. And yeah. there is a big retaining wall, as we're seeing, uh, certainly a male suspect here. Looks like maybe a red hoodie, a jacket on. Now it's, how are you going to get over? Mm -hmm. How are you going to scale this wall? It's going to be tough unless there's an access. They do have accesses along the way. There are little doors that go through to make uh, access for fire department. But you're going to have some very... Sit, well, he's over the fence and on to oh, there he uh, is. Yep. the Still road got him. and running. But you're going to have some very fit CHP officers coming over the freeway uh, wall there and taking off with it. The Ontario, uh, actually the San Bernardino County Sheriffs are overhead now, and they're probably communicating with the Ontario PD uh, to where the suspect is going. He's going up oh, to a house. Oh, going into, uh, is this a single-unit home? Um, yeah, yeah, it looks so like it is with a backyard. Yeah. This is Hermosa oh, this is Avenue, by the way. And so we're yeah. seeing, you know, obviously the suspect's trying to figure out where can I go, where can I hide. I hope whomever is home, Here. doors are, are locked. We're getting more of, looks like a young man, hat backward, yeah. uh, hooded sweatshirt, gray, red interior here, now walking, trying to maybe play it cool. Um, yeah, there's a CHP officer gonna come up on him. You see yep. a flashlight going there, and now he's gonna pick up speed. Yeah, and the problem here is now you're going to hear people are going to hear helicopters, they're going to hear sirens, and the one thing you do not want to do as a, a citizen is open your front door to see what's going on because you might have this guy right at your front door just trying to find a place to go. Uh, my worry at this point is he's checking doorknobs. My uh, worry now would be uh, should somebody be coming home now in their car and be pulling into this thing because this guy will, will take the car in a heartbeat. But there's a CHP officer right behind him here and now has eyes on him. The problem now is when he gets out of the car, then there may be a communications problem with the portable radio he's carrying and the, and the uh, Ontario, or the actually the San Bernardino County Sheriff's are overhead. So, yeah, oh, he's going to get caught. It it's looks like the taser. You can see that the yeah. CHP officer just released the taser perhaps. Yeah, I saw, like that. That. I saw the yep. yellow taser come out. Yep, and yellow taser course, came out. Now we're under the eaves here. So this is the Ontario area. You see now another CHP officer, perhaps. They tased him. Um, we're getting word, another uh, officer. Now it looks like they have that suspect on the ground. Yep. Um, it, obviously, we're not getting a great view of that, but there are one, two, three, four, five, it looks like, officers there. Uh, we saw that yellow taser come out, and then moments later, uh, that suspect on the ground. Now, Skyfox penning back over, so you get really full perspective here of that big rig completely on fire, that cab. And we had talked about this, having covered a similar mm -hmm. pursuit where it ended in this very same fashion. A spike strip had damaged the, ve the, the vehicle's tires so badly that those were gone and then eventually given that the suspect was not giving up riding on rims the cab caught fire and this is the result this is the 210 in the Ontario area and now thankfully it doesn't look like that hillside has caught fire so let's hope that that doesn't happen more chp units descending on this neighborhood uh, what a rude awakening for these folks now that it's well past midnight on this now thursday morning we are getting word from chp that that suspect is officially in custody as now chp has this scene to deal with they need firefighters there as soon as possible to be able to get out those flames you don't want this whole thing. We don't know what's in the container, the shipping container, too, that this big rig was carrying. 
So as we uh, look at this, I want to recap what we've just watched unfold here on Goodnight LA. This is a, a stolen big rig pursuit that came to an end in Ontario. We understand this started in Bakersfield. We picked it up in Newhall on the 5. It's now come to an end on the 210 freeway. Obviously, this freeway is now shut down uh, because of this activity. The suspect driving this big rig until he could no longer drive anymore until this thing was up in flames, then made a run for it into the uh, neighborhood up above. And now that suspect has officially been tased and now has been taken into custody. I suppose the best thing that we can say is that no, uh, no one was hurt, no one was injured in this really wild pursuit involving this big rig. Of course, we feel for the big rig driver who essentially got carjacked. Uh, at that gas station. If I didn't say that, I don't think I made that clear in my recap. There was a big rig driver who was pumping gas in Bakersfield when that suspect carjacked this big rig. So we feel for that uh, big rig driver who did get carjacked. And of course, you know, this is probably his livelihood. So we, uh, we, we feel for him. We're glad though that no one was hurt. We're glad that this has come to an end. I suspect it's just a matter of time until LA uh, or until firefighting crew gets there to put out those flames, but CHP units are on it. We want to thank uh, former police officer Tim Lynn for being with us for about the last hour here on Good Night LA. Could not have done it without you, Tim. I appreciate your expertise and your time. Hope you can now close your eyes and rest easy knowing that the suspect is in custody, Tim. Thanks so much for being with me yeah. tonight. You're welcome. Glad to help out. Okay, and for you at home watching along on Channel 11, we appreciate you. Obviously, we will continue to follow this, and we will have the very latest in just a few more hours when Good Day LA starts. That's at 4 a.m. in less than four hours with Bobby Castro and Brooke Thomas. And for now, as we send you off to sleep, I hope, here's an image of that big rig cab that is in flames. Let's hope that those flames get put out sooner than later. All right, that does it for me. I'm Marla Tejas. Thanks so much for being with me tonight.